Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video on Salesforce billing, we have seen how can we utilize billing rule to determine if our product will create an invoice line or not. Right. Today what we are going to do is how tax calculation will happen uh, using Salesforce billing and for that we'll have tax rule and other stuff to be implemented. So here is the agenda. Uh, we are first going to see what is tax rule, uh, what is it used for, how to set up tax rule and other stuff, a use case and we'll review the configuration as well. Okay. So first thing first, what is tax rule and tax treatment? So tax rule defines whether the tax gets applied to a particular product or not. That means the tax will get calculated for a particular order product having this product or not. Uh, tax treatment, there is a related record to the tax rule which is called tax treatment is recorded in relationship to tax rule. Uh, tax treatment stores following thing. The first thing first is tax integration, which type of integration it is. Today we are going to see standard integration, but there can be a third party integration as well. So that will be defined via this tax integration record. Then tax code, uh, if there is any code specified for applying the tax, then it is. Uh, then the legal entity, because legal entity is the base of each and everything available in Salesforce billing. So it is necessary to have a legal entity and upon a population of legal or entity only, the tax gets calculated. So legal entity will be the biggest part that we'll have to understand. Uh, we have already seen that in previous videos, so we'll uh, just repeat it over here. Uh, GL rule if we want to have a general ledger entry for it and then notes if there is any particular notes available for that particular tax treatment and here is the object structure so there is a tax object called tax rule uh, there is an object called tax treatment and it does have one to many relationships so one tax rule can have multiple tax treatment uh, there is a relationship of tax treatment and tax integration as well as which does have one to one relationship so a tax treatment may have uh, a tax integration lookup and which will identify which type of tax calculation it is. Then there is another object called tax rate and now there is no relationship directly between uh, tax rule, tax treatment and tax integration but there is a relationship via legal entity. So whatever tax treatment we have identified and populated on tax treatment the same needs to be there on tax rate and then the tax will get calculated. Then there is another thing uh, that comes into picture while tax calculation, but we'll see that uh, in following slides. Now, what is it used for? So tax rule, tax rule determined if the, uh, if the tax gets calculated for that particular product or not. Then tax treatment, it defines tax integration using which tax gets calculated, whether it's a standard or a, a third party. Then it defines legal entity using which tax calculation will be done. Uh, it defines general ledger as well, right? That rule as well to be recording uh, the tax against. Now how to set up, right? So to set up tax calculation will require following things to be set up. Tax calculation based on. So this is a setting that is available in install package setting for billing package. And we'll see what values it is having and what happens if that is not there. Legal entity, okay, it will be required as we understood. Tax rule and tax treatment will be also required. And then tax integration, which type of integration it is, right? So tax integration will be also required. And tax rate, right? Because without tax rate, we won't be identifying like how much percent of tax will be uh, applied. So tax rate. So now let's have a use case. So ABC Corporation is selling software services to ECME. ECME Corporation has its legal entity in Ahmedabad. ABC Corporation charged 18% tax to items which get shipped to Ahmedabad location for ECME. So now let's review the configuration. So first thing first, as we talked about, there is the install package setting which talks about tax calculation is based on. Uh, there are several values available over here, right? So we'll just make you understand this one and then uh, those are the similar ones. So tax calculation is based on. So whenever a legal entity gets associated, uh, the address of that particular uh, tax rate, which is associated with that particular legal entity, will be checked across this address. So it will check uh, for the account's billing address, which is related to order. And if that matches, then only tax will get applied. Otherwise, we'll have an error. Okay. So uh, make sure the addresses are same. Okay. 
then I'll have a product. So this is a product called software services, which does have this billing rule. Uh, as we learn about combined partial period, what's the meaning? Uh, if you want to learn, you can just see the billing rule uh, tutorial and you'll know like how this combined uh, partial period uh, works. We'll talk about tax rule. So uh, we have provided a tax rule called tax M double entity. If I open it, it says it's an active, right? That means it's an active rule. It says taxable. That means the tax will get applied to all the products or all the order products containing this product, uh, having this tax rule associated. Then we'll have tax in treatment. So as we talked about, uh, it has tax code. We haven't populated. Uh, there's a name. It's active. We haven't associated GL rule. We have ECME Corp Ahmedabad entity. I'll show you that as well. Uh, tax increase, as we talked about, if I go to that particular record, I can see which type of tax essence is. It's the default one, standard tax engine, and there can be an Avalara tax engine as well if that's being here. Right? Yeah. Then uh, tax rule lookup and notes, right? If you want to add any. Okay. So that was tax integration legal entity that we're going to see tax integration tax treatment and tax rule now we'll talk about tax rate and legal entity so over here we have a legal entity which is having few details like state country and city we can add more details as well but as of now for demo i've added this details only and then we'll go to the rate right because ideally we will require some rate as well so it does have the same data state city and country priority it's a mandatory field i've set it at zero tax code if you want to put any code and rate which is 18 percent right so as we've seen in the use case we're gonna provide 18 percent taxation for this okay and we have associate legal entity so now when this legal entity gets associated with a particular order product it will go to order it will go to its account and it will search in the billing address like if this address detail is available over there or not if any of this detail is missing from the billing address it will throw in this, an error uh, the tax will get will not get calculated right so what i'll do is i'll just go to the account that i'm going to use okay so i'm just using an acme corporation account so i'm just going to go that particular address I'll go to edit and what I'll do is I'll remove this stuff like I'll remove Ahmedabad I'll remove Gujarat I'll just save it okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that particular product which was software services so I'll just add it I'll add this out the term is for a year the product is monthly uh, recurring right so uh, 12 billing uh, 12 uh, invoice will get created using bill now okay so what i'll do is now i'll make it ordered so it will create an order for us just ignore this error as of now i'll go to here and if i go over here we have all this stuff populated charging type uh, what is billing frequency what is billing time um, then we have the dates as well unit price as well we have rule billing rule tax rule and revrec rule populated now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna associate legal entity which is Ahmedabad Corp and i'll just save it so you see it said like red cannot be determined for given data because the address that is available over here right on the legal entity and tax rate is not matching on the data defined over here like uh, which data order account billing address so uh, on that order we are using ecma operation so it is checking for the billing address to have that data now we don't have that data right so that's why it throws an error so now i'm putting the data okay and i'm just saving it and what i'll do is i'll go to the order product i'll remove the stuffs and i'll just save it for once so that our tax calculation will trigger when we do the legal entity association. Now see over here, the unit price is 1200, estimated tax is null. So what I'll do is I'll just go 
an associate legal entity and I'll just save it now previously we were getting the error now we are not getting the error it says completed and if you see over here 18% uh, of 1200 will become 216 USD and that's why it's showing 216 USD as a tax okay that is got uh, estimated now uh, we have estimated or we have provided legal entity on uh, order product and that's where tax is showing up over here if you don't want to what we can do is we can generate an invoice and on invoice line we can associate the legal entity and it will create uh, tax information on invoice itself okay. why because many a time it happen like order will go through the order orchestration process and everything and which will take some time and meanwhile uh, there might be a possibility of changing the rates as well right so that's where if you don't want to put it on order product uh, due to the several orchestration process you can directly put it on the invoice line as well okay uh, we are not going to do an invoice line but there would be a sim uh, similar field available on invoice line as well so i'll just activate this order and I'm gonna create an invoice out of this so I'll just do a bill now and let's see it was monthly billing so uh, an invoice with monthly uh, $100 will get there and $18 is the tax right so that would be the tax that we can see right so subtotal is $100 since it was monthly uh, recurring uh, total amount was 12,000 uh, sorry 1200 so 1200 divided by 12 it was coming as hundred dollar upon it 18 percent tax so 118 and if you go over here on invoice line right we do have the tax percentage right uh, tax applied right and there is legal entity available over here that we set from order product if we don't want to put on order product we can directly put it over here and it will calculate tax so uh, that way uh, we can have our tax calculation in Salesforce billing. Uh, thank you very much for watching the videos. Uh, please like and share the content and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, uh, it will help you learning uh, these steps. Thank you very much.